There was no brand in my family. Um, I kind of found it on my own. Because um, in my family, it was United and Arsenal, man, I had an Arsenal. And then I got to a point where I was like, but I don't go to Manchester, you know, I'm not from North London, I'm from West London. And then um, once they came to my school, uh, when I was about 13, 14, and uh, did like a little game for like sports day, and they, they gave me a man, man and match award. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I like you guys already. And then from there on, I started looking out for them, following them. Uh, and then, yeah, next thing you know, it's like, I, I, want, I want to be a Brentford fan, you know? I, I, want, I want to come to a game and watch a game. Uh, and yeah, that was it. I was hooked after that. My first visit to Griffin Park wasn't even a Brentford game. It was a Jamaica against some charity 11. I know Jamaica in Brentford, I know, it's random. Um, that was my first game. My mum took me and my brother for like a, a Sunday day out. My first Brentford game was a nil-nil home draw against Rotherham, I think it was. The game was awful, like proper dire, uh, which shows dedication to the cause. My match day routine, um, it is this mainly, uh, <laughs> mainly with me calling my brother going, are you ready? Should I come pick up now? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We kind of just um, come here, sit down, try and get here like while the team's still warming up and stuff, clap them off as they go into the changing rooms. Um, and then yeah, just kind of just get get ready for the for kickoff, you know, sitting there chilling. And then when you hear, you know, um, Peter Gillum, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Griffin Park. That's when we stand up, you know, we go, oh, yes, you know, clap them, cheer them out. And then yeah, just, just cheer them on to a uh, over three points. I'm, I'm chilled out. Uh, unless the referee is really bad, and then it's, I'm not like I'm not one of those that like, just beep 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 fans. But if, if, if the referee is awful, uh, sometimes a few little, you know, uh, you mm, your mum's a, mm. but uh, but most of the time I'm, I'm well behaved. I think New, New Road is quite, quite well behaved in general. You know, uh, Eden Road is weird. The majority of the noises here were quite okay. We've, we've, we've paid a good amount to sit down. We're gonna just chill and be civilized until something kicks off, and then yeah, some a few words come out here and there. For the new stadium, it's just me and my brother. Uh, it's always been us two. Uh, I, I didn't get the seats that I, I actually wanted. Um, they said I can't have the seat I wanted because I'm not management or players. <laughs> right. um, I'm close to the I'm to the right of the dugout in the south stand, and I'm a bit lower down. Uh, so yeah, I'm near to the halfway line and closer so the opposition players and referee can get a verbal if they need to. Oh, the, the experience of picking my seat was great. Um, you get a talk about new stadium before you go in um, and you, you kind of you get a presentation on it and it, the stadium looks fantastic. So you get the presentation of it and then you go inside, you get to see which uh, seats are available, uh, you pick out what seat you want and then you get like a little VR viewing of what that seat looks like and you get a view of a viewing of uh, the dugouts as well and it all looks proper lush man proper nice like all right you guys have proper done this up nicely man um and yeah you just pick what seat you want and for me it was, it was simple it's like okay those two for me and my brother got them cool and that was it it's like sign up for next season i think we'll make it we'll make it home you know you know, bees fans we, we get behind the team um we create the right atmosphere you know and it's just down the road anyway so it's not like we're moving to you know to, to an, another county or something which is just down the road so i'm sure that transition will be a smooth one compared to when i first watched brentford uh well the, fo the, the quality of football is a lot better <laughs> for one um yeah i remember when, when i first joined me we, we were struggling we were league two yeah i remember league two struggling to kind of just stay in the football league whereas now we're in the championship you know in the mix to go up to the premier league which is I don't know, it's, it's surreal. I mean, from when I first started watching Brentford, the championship was like, that's, that's the dream now. That's where, we, that's where we aspire to be. And now we're here talking about the Premier League. It's like, it's crazy. But the, the last decade especially, it's just been a massive upward trajectory. And you know, long may that continue.